good day um, today I'm going to introduce you about my SQL so what is my SQL it's one of the most popular fast reliable and easy database system that can work with PHP so let's combine PHP and my SQL my SQL database now how to download my SQL, my SQL dash front um, we have here, I have here the link this one my SQL dash front that software that informer that com then slash download then uh, I button now download now so let's click the download and run the setup files at the browser then let's just click next 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 text and then atom e install and then let's click finish okay now here is the oh not yet so we have to add um, account here so we have to click new button to add account and enter the following information so I just put sample account as my database name and local host so atom host and then the default user is root then for the password let's leave it empty and click ok oh isha ma click ok it's because wala na to na run ang control panel so let's just open first the exam control panel let's start the apache and MySQL. So let's create a, a dynamic web application. So in this chapter, you will know how to connect and manipulate MySQL to a database using PHP. So we're done. I'm gonna click OK. And here, so the name is sample account. And then let's click open. And then, so let's select the newly added account. So let's create a new database. Let's select localhost located at the left panel. And on the menu, let's click database new and then database. Then on the add database window, let's enter the information. So the name that I'm going to put is project underscore db. One and then click OK button. I'm just checking on some chica are. So this will create a new database that can be seen at the left panel. So here we have the project DB. Now we're going to add table. So to add to create table, so let's select project DB. And on the menu bar, click database, new, and then table. So on the add table window, enter the following information. So for me, so I'm going to put um, customer underscore TBL for the name. Okay. And type is my ISAM. on. And let's just click ok button ok then the customer table can be seen under the project database uh, folder so this one by default after creating a table my sql front automatically create a primary key that one named id and this field will have the following properties so we have the type the length the default and default is auto increment siya. Diba? Okay, now, so, we're gonna update the ID field. So, how to update the ID field name. So, let's just right-click and then go to the properties and then let's change the ID name or the name uh, text box here. So, ako siya yung CID which means customer's ID. And then, yung length is only 11 and then auto increment so automatic siyang mo increment so if mo add tag ka ang data automatic siyang mo add ang um, number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then let's click ok and after that let's add another table 
so how to add let's right click to the tables to the customers table and then click new and then click the field so new field so na naman tay id i'm gonna put uh cf wrong 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 okay na you double click and i call para mag change so cf name which means customer's first name then the length ah no the tag is barker so barker siya and then the length is 20 then let's click ok so let's just do the same process with the other field so um we have to put CL name which means the customer's last name so we should get an old CL name then the length is 20 then just click ok and so on so what's up yes let's add another one uh, we have the gender and uh, length is 20 can put it push at 10 actually how long it is 20 so it's other field that's uh, contact number put the contact number so the position is you can put a position so here yam position is after field na gender so for contact number we're gonna put 11 then click ok next is we have the address address after the field contact number same barcara then the length is um i guess 50 k okay, address so that's that's that one so there are many approach we can use to open a connection to my sql database so we have my sql i um my my, my sql i'm a procedural procedural or object oriented database so here we're gonna in our case we're going to use a mysql i object oriented approach so before we start coding we first need first we need is to create a folder name sa atong exam and then inside of the ht docs uh tg underscore final so all the database related sample will be stored in this folder so here i'm gonna create connection.php so can you make it a taog connection to connect our database so this is our host name which is the local host our username which is the root atong password is empty man tong atong giset diba and then this one is it checks if there is an error in our connection so money siya so if error atong connection ay mo pop up na uh, uh, error message so kanina line is our error message but if our um, connection is success then blanco if blank ang inyong ang output so success ang connection na na. and by the way we have here the project database or the database name don't forget so ato mang pangalan is project underscore dt so mabal atong ibutang na rin ok so kung unsa yung atong ibutang sa mysql dash front mabal atong ibutang na sa php ok so let's run this so localhost slash the name of my folder i forgot so gonna check kung so it's db underscore final and connection at php so there's an error on line 8 so let's double check kulang dollar sign ako may sql i and ano man yung maming na dio man yung dio dio so it's die sorry for that it's die because we're under any error so i'm gonna try to run okay so it's blank so if it's blank then there is no error so which means it is successfully connected to the 
server now we're gonna create another which is the add.php so add.php akong file gibutan sa file name ani so gonna uh, create um, how to add data in my SQL front By the way, at this portion, there's an MI, which means the uh, middle initial. But then, what man it ay middle initial, there is a koana to sa front, uh, my SQL front. So, mag create na lang ta, mag add ta o field nga CMI, which means the customer's middle initial. So, gana add another one so right click the new then field then gonna add cmi then varkar your japan and then mm, tendra though kabulutang one letter now but then and then here so input type is text and the name should be cmi so since kung sa ipangalan sa akong uh, data dito sa sa front sa my SQL front mo pwede akong same pangalan po dito sa akong PHP
I guess uh, it's done. And let's try to run if there's an error or what. Okay, with that, double check it. Actually, the password is not good to para daling human. <laughs> then, this is the output. So, I'm gonna put my first name, my middle initial, then my last name. Then, gender, example, contact number, and then my address. And then, save record. And then, then you'll be record as being added.